All right, here's the training function, and here's the receiving system, the organization. And there's this thing out here called the performer. And uh, I think there are two very important things to understand about a performer, and they are essential to how one goes about doing analysis and designing performance-based training. Premise one is that there is, or had better be, this kind of linkage. My point is that there is such linkage always in situations. There's a performer that emits little bundles of things called behavior and a little bit of luck they end up in clumps which accomplish tasks. With more luck, those tasks actually contribute to a job or output, job output or accomplishment. And with lots of luck, there's some connection between that and an organization output. Uh, so I say that linkage does exist. I think what some of you were saying earlier, the frustration is getting an organization to articulate what that linkage is, because organizations are really keen on coming to us and talking to us at this end. Okay? You guys put in the knowledge and skills, and somehow, with a little bit of luck, we'll get this out the other end. And it's very much like pushing 50 foot of wet rope to make that, that happen. So I'm a firm believer that you pull performance out rather than you push behavior in. We've got to link individual performance to organization performance, and if we don't do that, it's, it's uh, basically all over as a, as a performance-based training game.